hello guys welcome to max kitchen today i'm going to teach you how to make greek yogurt using milk powder mm -hmm, you heard me right and you will love every bit of it homemade greek yogurt with milk powder give this a try and you will not regret and so you see how thick it is looking yes this greek yogurt oh my goodness you will love it and so if you are a lover of greek yogurt like me then you are welcome to my channel and so we are going to make use of this milk powder yes i bought this from the market and this i used two of this so in ghana this is two cups mm, this milk powder is two cups according to our measuring cup this is two cups but with the measuring cup i was holding that's two of the 600 ml and i'm going to use this uh, my yogurt from the pig milk the remaining as my yogurt starter i'm going to pour in warm water warm water or hot water so i have warm water and i also have cold water to um, regulate the temperature in terms of the hotness so i'm using both warm and, and cold so I'll water just pouring in some warm water and i'm going to add my milk powder to it mm -hmm. then we'll whisk it you need to whisk it to um, smoothen it out you can decide to put this on fire and then boil it a bit but i am just using the warm water and cold water and i'm not going to boil it but you can decide after mixing it this way you just put it on fire and then boil it a bit and take it out and allow it to cool down and so just whisk it till you really you get to know that it's smooth uh -huh. and the quantity of water too is not really static that you should use this quantity or not because it depends and so i just uh, fetch a little place it at the back of my palm to test to see how hot it is and it's hot so i'm going to add a little bit of cold water to it and still will be um whisking or stirring it up and i'll still add more cold water when i feel that it's still hot for me because you don't need it hot neither do you need it cold you need it 50 50 like look warm if it's too hot it's going to kill the culture and if it's too cold too it will not work and so i'm still adding water to it i'm um, adding the cold water because at my time i didn't have enough time to let it wait for it to <laughs> Um, cool down to that temperature where my fingers can handle so i'm trying to cool it down with the cold water a bit but if you have enough time you can allow it to cool down by itself so i'm just it has cooled down and i'm fetching some into my bowl and i'm going to add my yogurt starter this is the yogurt i made from the pig milk so it should be at a room temperature so i'm just going to add some you can add four tablespoons to eight or five tablespoons you can even decide to add or but hey just four tablespoons will be okay so that the uh, the bacteria will get enough room to um, grow very well and so mix everything together i'm going to pour it into my milk mm -hmm. and then stay together and i am going to cover this also with uh, my fall but um i later removed the fall and covered it with a plastic then later covered it again with a fall so i would advise that even if you want to use for use plastic first to cover because you need to retain much of the heat in there i realized that using the fall alone wasn't um enough to retain much of the heat so i later on checked and then remove the fall and used plastic on it then later the fall and so cover it this way i'm going to tie it with my rope and then keep it in my oven for overnight so like um eight hours or more but hey when you keep it after eight hours and you check and it hasn't formed the way you want you can still give it more time so mine i gave it more time more than eight hours more than 10 hours i gave it enough time for it to form very well and also ferment very well so you can give it 
more time 12 hours 15 hours 18 hours and that is so so cool so this is morning the next day and we are checking and so you see i covered with a plastic and plus the fall and then used my knack pin to cover before putting it in the oven for that long hour so 15 hours uh, and that is okay even sometimes 24 hours is nothing but so this is how you got mm -hmm. okay so we are going to take everything out of the water so i have my um cheese cloth or my organza cloth that's my chest cloth in uh, lined in a strainer and i'm scooping every bit of the yogurt onto it we want to get the water from it and get it dry and thick just as greek yogurt is and so we are taking everything out <laughs> please if you are here and you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video leave a comment so i'm going to change it yes i'm going to use this and put it in because i just did something that will be comfortable in my fridge mm -hmm. place it in this way uh -huh. and also cover it and use um how do you call it pegs to hold it you can also cover it with um how do you call it um i changed the bowl i changed the bowl because that the first bowl the strainer sits in it and this one it just hangs which is better so that you don't get your distance soaked with the water you want it to drain so i'm going to hold it with pecs and i'm also going to cover or cover with a bowl and keep it in the fridge and so i mean a bowl lid a bowl suspend lid and so we keep this in the fridge for eight hours and this is it after eight hours we have gotten all the water to drain and well so this you keep it in the fridge oh yes so when you do it this will keep it in the fridge for eight hours so this is our greek yogurt yes mm -hmm. and this is the water we get from we, we got from it and so i'm going to pour the greek yogurt into my bowl for you to see it very very well so this is our homemade greek yogurt this is it yes i'm going to whisk it up to to get it a bit smooth when you are doing your whisking do it very well so that you don't have to whisk it again at this point so i realized it wasn't that smooth for me so i'm whisking it again stir everything up and get it very smooth uh -huh. so you can see some small 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 lumps in there when you are doing it at the initial stage Make sure you whisk it very well so that you don't get all these small, small lumps. So this is it. Okay, so you see our Greek yogurt very thick. And we are going to pour it. Mm -hmm. You see. Uh -huh. So all my keto friends, my Greek yogurt lovers, this is for you. You will love this. Enjoy every bit of it. And so this is our homemade Greek yogurt from milk powder uh -huh. and so this is it you will love giving this a try and you will not regret just get a milk powder and try this and you will love it thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share the video watch out for another sumptuous recipe bye bye